What's up, champions? Welcome back to Game Dev with AI, our show, our challenge, our experiment, where I am developing our first real-time strategy game, an indie game without any coding skills, just with the help of tools of AI, such as ChatGPT, MidJourney, and Expert Helm from Fiverr. And we are using Construct3, which is a great visual programming 2D engine. In this video, we continue the improvements of our game and we are going to add the win condition, the lose condition and especially some nice mission accomplished plate and mission failed. I'm going to show you how I did it step by step as always. So let's get started. Whew. First, we start by preparing all the assets that we need for this part. And by the time of this recording, unfortunately, Midjourney is really bad with anything that's concerning fonts or the text. I gave it a try, but as you can see, it's just writing gibberish. I'm sure if you're watching this a few months later in the new Midjourney update, it will be awesome working with text and everything will be already fixed. So this will be much easier. But when I'm recording this, it was still in the early stages of development, so my journey was really bad with texts. For this reason, I am sticking with the old school uh, traditional fonts. And for if you are making a game, you have to be fully legal, so you cannot just steal fonts. You have to buy the fonts you're going to use. And in my case, I went to Invat and I bought this a uh, beautiful military typeface it's called sharpshooter so you can download it and then you have this amazing font as you can see using this font we can cre create amazing menu and it looks really well in my opinion and it fits our game style really well something like this as always, the plate itself, the explosion, everything I created with my journey. For our mission accomplished, we need to prepare the sprite with the mission accomplished plate and the sign. And it will have several frames of animation. So for example, in my case, I will be just adding extra bullets too, because this looks too clean. We are making a war game after all. So we just put in some transpelling bullet hits all over this place and I save them as separate frames something like this next uh, we need uh, the voices for our AI lady and the robots screaming mission accomplished so as always I'm using revoicer and 11 laps to generate the voices so such as mission accomplished let's try mission accomplished all right, not bad. Mission accomplished. So we can save this and also a few more. We can try for the robot voice. Mission accomplished. Too slow. Mission accomplished. Yeah, something like this. So we save all of them. Next, we need to have some fanfare, some sound effect of the victory. So again, I use Invato to buy those sounds. So we can use them in the game and I use this one. Ooh, we did it. And of course I don't want to do this, but we have to do this. Mission failed. <laughs> you need to make the graphics for mission failed. And of course the sound. Yeah. Now once all the elements are ready, we can import them to our constructive project. We can create the sprite, for example, win, win sprite. And then we position it and put the correct size. This sprite has several steps of animation. Like I said, the bullets hitting it. I'm using here the temporary map. I call it playground so I can test different behaviors. 
and the same we do for the mission field to make sure they appear on top of everything we'll be using them in the progress bar layer or any other layer that goes on top then of course we import our sounds uh, we in fanfare lose sound and uh, mission accomplished and mission failed we'll get them next time and finally we need to code should i say code <laughs> it's not really coding but still it's visual programming win and lose condition the win condition in our game is the destruction of enemy fort i put it here zombies around as always and let's check it out so the lose condition is when enemy fort is destroyed when its health is less or equals to zero we call to destroy it and now you can see the code that i put here as always feel free to pause the video so you can see each line in detail if you want to study everything be my guest i go through it quite fast because i don't want to waste all the time it's been a lot of experiments here to make it work and you can see my final result so you can judge it to make uh, this to sell this effect much better we need to enable some special effects on our layer so for example if i click on layer zero and i enable effects such as sepia it makes all brownish and vignette it makes all dramatic so all these effects will be enabled when we are calling our win or lose condition using this enable layer zero effect sepia so now i wait three seconds and i will be displaying uh, the win plate on layer two which means progress bar so it goes on top of everything and position will be so called scroll x and scroll y i've been arguing with chat gpt on how to scroll to the middle of the screen he was giving me nonsense solutions and this is my concern about chat gpt a lot of times it's it's creating functions and features that don't actually exist and this really annoys me then you start implementing it and there is no such feature in construct tree this drives me crazy a little bit almost every time chat gpt is inventing non-existent functions and features like he's saying put x coordinate to viewport okay i try it construct tree saying there is no such feature okay fine then i say there is no such thing in, a, <laughs> in construct tree and then chat gpt is giving me correct solution but why you couldn't give me this in the first place? I mean, come on, man. This happens every single time. It gives me nonsense solution. I complain. It says uh, my apologies for confusion. And then it gives you correct answer. Come on. So with this scroll X, scroll Y, we'll be positioning uh, it in the middle of our viewport. And then we wait seven seconds and go to the next layout or to the main menu. This is the feature to go to different layout. So when win condition is created, actually, sorry about that, not win condition, I mean the win plate. I enable the sign. The sign is a simple animation. As you know, I really love to use sign. What it does, it's basically shaking and moving it a little bit. Just look closer. See, it's just moving like this little bit. It makes everything much more lovely and much more alive. Then we set it to correct size. I set animation to win. All our bullets will start hitting. I call the sounds like fireworks exploding. I call our old particles spark, particles fireworks. Everything is exploding. Everything is happy. I call some uh, sounds of bullet hitting because the bullets are appearing over the plate so it's not so clean and even more fireworks and even more I just keep repeating all the same there's nothing special here there is not a rocket science just call more and put more random random randomity of how you call it 
in English. Just randomize everything because you don't want this to appear the same. Each time it should be a little bit different. So I put random on everything. All right, even more, even more. It's quite long, but I keep repeating the same creation of objects of fireworks, sparkles, and putting them random, putting some of bullet. And finally, we say our, and then mission accomplished. All right, and play our fanfare. And on destroyed, we, we do very similar, just little less fanfare and less fireworks. We just e enable our sepia and vignette. And we play our failed sound. And basically that's it. There's not much to do. And when our fort is destroyed, we call nuclear explosion. It's just a big explosion for our fort. And destroy the fort. Let's check it out. So I put our fort in the middle of the enemies, surrounded by tank. There is no chance. Uh, let's check it out. Mission accomplished. All right, and now let's check out. So tank is destroying our fort. It will destroy it in a minute, and it's destroyed. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. All right. And finally, let's test our win condition. Let's run the game and see how we destroy the enemy fort and if our all the fanfare works well. And it's here. Okay. Let's finish them up. And let's finish them off. That's right, then we wait a few more seconds and we go to the next layout or the main menu in our case. That's all for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video, the continued development of our game. As always, let me know in the comments below what we should improve next. That's all for today, take care, Papa Mike's out. Cheers, bye. Oof.